welcome to another Adventures of Scott and Michelle. Uh, we wanted to do our first hotel um, a re review, and this is uh, our room at the uh, Don Q Inn in Dodgeville, Wisconsin, which is which is about 50 minutes west of Madison, Wisconsin. And this is a nice old uh, hotel. Uh, the actual hotel dates back, I believe, like to the early mid 60s, but the wing that we're staying in, it was. I think added on like around 1980. So join us on another one of our adventures. Thanks. door to the room uh, this is an old-fashioned hotel it's like it still has the uh, the old-fashioned locks on here it doesn't have like one of those credit card uh, uh, credit card uh, readers it, you know maybe doesn't necessarily look perfect but hey, everything everything works and coming in here would be the uh, be the bathroom this is a nice bathroom nice size bathroom we could get, get like a nice, uh, nice sink. Looks like a newly um, uh, remodeled faucet. Um, yeah, you know, like an old Mr. Coffee maker. Nice hair dryer to dry your hair in the morning after mm -hmm. you take a shower or at night, whatever you prefer. Mm-hmm. Give you a nice little bottle of conditioning shampoo. Then in here, this is a pretty neat feature. Let me turn on the light so you all can see. Door sticks a little bit. Yeah. But this is actually a two-person shower. Oh yeah, this you got like a real there. nice two-person shower. This is neat. Nice big shower. Yeah, you can have a party in your shower. <laughs> Yeah, you sure can. Mm -hmm. Now this would be our room. This is real huge. Mm -hmm. Real nice. You get a nice couch. And you also get a nice recliner. Yeah, and the, the furniture is actually in pretty good, uh, pretty decent shape. Yeah, I actually sat on this uh, recliner and it's actually pretty comfortable too. And you know what else I noticed? It is so quiet. You it can is like hear real a quiet, yeah. pen drop. It is so quiet. Since the rooms are so big, the rooms are sort of spread out, it's, we don't really hear hardly anything here. It's, that's what makes it such a great hotel. And the prices are pretty reasonable too. This is Saturday night after Valentine's, and it's only like 70 bucks. Yeah. And see the, you know, the linens uh, are, are pretty, pretty decent. It, the color is uh, off-white, even though most hotels do full, you know, uh, uh, full white sheets, uh, but Everything here is pretty. Like this mattress is rather. Mattress is real, real clean. It looks sort of brand new too. Mhm. Mm well, pillow does fold in half, but. Not bad. I slept on it last night, so it was it was it wasn't too bad. Like everything's here is uh, uh, pretty clean. Um, you know, I usually bring a lot of my. I have a, another pillow that I use for, uh, for myself. But the hotel pillows here are, you know, they're, they're you know they're 
I guess pretty standard uh, for what now it comes to hotels. Yeah. Yeah, this would be the hallway mm -hmm. outside from our room. I just love how they have these little like lanterns up on the sides of the place. It's so neat. These are nice. And then once we get to the older section here, you're gonna see like they have like little designs on the on the lights. Yeah. So now once we get past the stairway, this is gonna be the original part of the hotel. It was like built like back like in the early sixties. Yeah. So that back there was it's the newer, slightly newer section. Slightly newer yeah. section. But the section that we're in right now, it's like mm -hmm. from the 1960s. Yeah. Okay, and this would be like their ping pong yeah. game room. Um, you could play ping pong. They also have like a foosball table. Mm -hmm. This is like really neat. And then if you go outside, they also have like a pool table where you can play pool and stuff. Pretty neat. And it looks like they have a number of games you can play too. Dodge the Oh wow, that's out in its own uh, like Monopoly game. Yeah. They also have like these really neat pictures up on the wall too. You have this really neat picture of a uh, fair faucet standing right next to the plane. It was, I guess, using a commercial years ago, and this plane is actually sitting right in front of the hotel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now we are going to take you over to the pool area. This is a very unique pool area. This is the first hotel in Wisconsin to have a pool that goes inside to outside. It's a combination indoor outdoor pool and plus they got a hot tub too. So this would be the pool area. This is really, really neat. Hot tub. And then this would be the pool area. It's huge. This pool is really big. Well, it goes up to, I believe, five feet, maybe even six feet. Okay, five feet, sorry. And then outside this window, this is the other third of the pool that's outside. Uh, it is covered with a tarp. Um, if you come back, uh, I think Memorial Day weekend, they'll have that tarp off and then you can swim um, right right through, you can swim right here from the uh, indoor pool to the outdoor pool. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do that now. It's pretty cold outside. It's oh, about yeah. 26 degrees. Yeah. I really think it's so neat how they have like these old dentist chairs too. That's pretty neat. And you can also play checkers too. These huge pieces of checkers. That's pretty neat. Then you have like an old school desk too. So. Well now we are going to be walking back to our hotel room. See they have like all these really unique suites. This is the shotgun, Paradise. and they have Paradise Cove. Pretty neat. Those are known as original suites. Oh yeah, original and suites. Then they have ones called Fantasy Suites, which would be like oh, in yeah. the newer wing. And then, yeah, this is the newer and wing. That would be Jungle Safari. Yep, that would be Jungle Safari. Indian summer. There's a real cool one called Up Up and Away, which oh, is actually a two-story yes. room and it has a hot air balloon. Oh there. yeah, Up Up you and Away. Hot air oh yeah, that is a pretty cool room. 
used to be able to play uh, Super Nintendo, but I guess their Super Nintendo no longer works. Now we are walking up towards our room. Nice and warm. Oh yeah. Well, it's morning and we are getting ready to leave our hotel. Now this is the view outside our room. Pretty neat. Man, I just love how quiet it is. Just like so extremely quiet. They had a party going on last night because I guess a bunch of people um, have been coming here for like 20 years. So they had like this big party, but it was so quiet. I mean, you couldn't even hear them. It was so quiet. I'm like, wow. I just love how quiet it is. Just love it how cool it is. There's like an airplane right outside the hotel too. That is just so cool. And in the summertime, you can go up there and tour it. Um, you might be able to tour it now, but I mean, it's pretty cold out, so. I just love it how they have like this really neat um, fireplace like right in the middle too you could just sit here and they have like these really old like barber chairs that you could sit in and just sit around a really nice big huge fireplace it is so cool I love it they had it lit up last night it was really nice it was so nice right after a nice swim just to go here and then sit by the fireplace I really enjoyed it They have a breakfast um, in the morning. I think it's from like 6 to 10. Um, they have cereal, you know, a lot of stuff. Probably some donuts and stuff. So. But if you're not into that, I know not too far away they have like a country kitchen and today they're going to be doing their breakfast buffet, which is really neat. Which we'll probably be doing in a, in a while.
and I also love it how they have like these rooms that kind of connect like you can have um, if you want to stay like with your family you can be in that room to the right and you can also be have your other family member stay in the room to the left and they have these pretty unique doors where if you wanted privacy you can like close them so I think that is really really uh, unique and we've been coming at this uh, place for quite some time now and we just love it it's just so quiet and nice I just love it up here. They have like a nice seating area. You know, you can sit, relax, whatever. They have a pool table over there. And then also, there's like these, oh look, yeah. These really nice uh, chairs you could sit in too. Benches and stuff. It's pretty neat. Well, that concludes our uh, review of the Don QN. I really love this hotel. I give this hotel a five star rating. Yes, a five out of a possible five. Because zero being like the worst, like you would never ever want to go back to again. Five being a hotel you can't wait to go back to again. And trust me, we stayed at a lot of hotels before and they were really dumpy. This place is phenomenal. I mean, quiet comfortable bed I mean it was just and I don't know it's, it's also probably the most uh, unique hotel in the state of Wisconsin if not uh, almost the whole United States yes and a lot of people like stay here I mean they even had a party last night of 20 some odd people and I guess they've been staying here for about 20 years and coming here for about 20 years and they had like this huge party mm -hmm. um, and it's just all, all you know it was relatively quiet I mean yeah it was really noisy in the lobby but you go to your room you can't even hear them I mean it was just so quiet I mean you can hear a pen drop it was so quiet I mean seriously and you know we met some really nice uh, people along the way too as mm -hmm. you know we went swimming and we met a nice couple They're really nice you know couples, people there's two, there's yeah, yeah couples and I mean the people up here in Wisconsin are just so nice and friendly and we just love it up here we come here all the time and all I can say about this hotel is if you haven't stayed here, you really need to stay here. I mean, it's the Don Q Inn in Dodgeville, Wisconsin. I mean, and not too far away is House on the Rock, which wasn't is not open yet because it's wintertime, but in the summertime it is open. So, you know, you guys yeah. gotta come out here and... Yeah, it usually opens up like either just before or just after St. Patrick's Day in March. Yeah, so if you haven't stayed here at the Don Q Inn, you need to get yourself up here and you need to stay here because it is worth it I mean really worth it and plus they have a lot of unique uh, suites uh, probably in the future you will maybe see us do a review of one of the uh, one of the uh, jacuzzi suites here yeah uh, so that might be hopefully coming in the future it was a little too expensive to do a jacuzzi and suite. a lot of them were booked so mm -hmm. you know the room we had was really nice and comfortable and quiet and you know we loved it Mm -hmm. So we really want to appreciate you guys and thank you for watching. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks. can't believe what someone left for a maid in a, one of the upstairs rooms. A pyramid of beer cans. Gosh, if I was the maid or housekeeper, I would probably laugh if I, uh, if I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I would too. I'd be like, hey, you left them empty. What the heck? <laughs>